the potential change of the guard on the horizon for the Toronto Raptors as Kyle Lowry is set to leave the Raptors at the end of this season. I'm here to tell you today that the Raptors are in very good hands with Malachi Flynn. Let's get into it. Welcome Raptors fans to Amateur Hour Sports. This is the channel where you get NBA content with a focus on the Toronto Raptors at least four days a week. So if you like what you see from today's video, you want more of myself talking about the Raptors in videos just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to show your support to the channel. We just hit 2.5K subs today, so thank you guys for that. Also, check us out on Twitch. We stream for every Raptors game for a watch long, including the game tonight, twitch.tv slash amateur sports. We always start 15 minutes before the opening tip. But today, we're talking about Malachi Flynn yet again because a little over a week ago now, I made a video talking about Malachi Flynn on the back of a fantastic 16-point performance against the Golden State Warriors. Little did we know that that would be the start of a very good run of games for Malachi Flynn, getting a lot more playtime recently, much to the delight of his father. Eric Flynn was very vocal about his playtime or lack thereof in some situations on Facebook, but he's been playing a lot recently, putting up a lot of points, and the day I did make that video, also put up 16 points again, and since that was his career high at the time, but since then, he has put up 20 points in a game. In fact, 20 points and 11 assists. The first Raptors rookie to pull off a 20 and 11 stat line since Damon Stoudemire, or so I'm told. But Malachi Flynn been playing a lot better recently. Looks like a completely different player out there on the court. Two weeks ago, I saw people making jokes about him on social media for his lack of shooting ability. In fact, not really having any shooting ability at all. But that has taken a complete in total 180 in the last week or so because the playtime is there and because the playtime is there he's starting to get more repetitions in and he's starting to gain his confidence it's something i talked about in last week's video where his confidence was kind of shot but he was still making the right decisions this is why the raptors are in good hands with malachi flynn i keep saying this is because his decision making is very good he knows when to make the right pass is very good on defense already he came into the nba with his defense at nba ready level his offense was smart it was calculated he's highly intelligent in his decision making again whether that's passing whether it's making the decision to shoot the problem with his game was the shots were not falling down so you could sag off of him when you're playing defense because you could gamble on him on the jump shots. You know, he wasn't shooting well at all, was like low 30s in terms of field goal percentage, was under 20%, I think, in three-point percentage. He was really struggling. He was really struggling to knock down his shot, but now, all of a sudden, he is really starting to knock down those shots, which makes the defenders go DM up a little bit more on the outside, which affords him a lot more space on the inside. We're all of a sudden seeing Malachi Flynn blowing by defenders and getting to the rim. This is something we had not seen all season from the Raptors rookie. But now the confidence is starting to come and you can see the potential that this player has. I said in last week's video that he's kind of got this pure point guard type of character where that's about the limit. I, I would compare Malachi Flynn's game to not, not saying he's going to be as good as these players, but I think the style of play that Malachi Flynn is kind of exuding on the court is similar to that of Jason Kidd. Now, again, that's the player comparable, but I don't think Malachi Flynn will ever get to that Jason Kidd type of level. But that style of play, you know, Jason Kidd was a fantastic player, obviously a Hall of Famer, but Jason Kidd never had the field goal percentages of a guy you would expect at that high of a level. Not that that was a bad thing. He's an undersized guard. They typically shoot, you know, mid to low 40s from the field. So that, I think, is the level that Malachi Flynn can get to over the course of his NBA career. He can rely on his defense and his basketball smarts to make him a very effective player in the NBA. And the shooting comes as a bonus for that. I think the Raptors' future looks quite good with a starting core of Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., OG Ananobi, Pascal Siakam, and a center that the Raptors acquire, hopefully in this offseason here. But Malachi Flynn coming off the bench to run that second unit, I think would be a great thing for this Raptors team. Also, showing now that in certain situations when he does have to start, he can hold his own in those settings. And again, just confidence has been a complete 180. And the fact that he's now knocking down these shots just shows the Raptors smarts when they drafted him 29th overall. Definitely could have gone a little bit higher. The Raptors were fortunate to get them that low. I think they were very fortunate to get him that low. Malachi Flynn was very high on my draft board. In fact, he was second 
on my draft board for the Toronto Raptors, second on my wish list. So I was over the moon when the Raptors ended up selecting him at the 29th overall pick. And we saw in the preseason shades of his brilliance, but over the course of the regular season, up until now, wasn't knocking down those shots. You could tell he wasn't quite adjusted yet to the NBA, and maybe a little bit of a limited preseason had something to do with that. But Malachi Flynn, you know, the Raptors know exactly what they're doing when they're developing young players. He had his time in the G League to maybe start seeing the ball go in the basket a little bit more. Wasn't seeing that a whole ton in the NBA. Came back, still wasn't getting a ton of time, but then Nick Nurse decided that Malachi Flynn is a player of the future, and he needs to be in the rotation for the Toronto Raptors. And set that every game, Malachi Flynn was going to be coming off the bench and getting time on the court. And because of that, he's starting to get more minutes. Injuries happen. Kyle Lowry's injured. Fred Van Vliet's injured. All of a sudden, Malachi Flynn has to be the primary ball handler on offense when he is on the court. And that has allowed him to get this confidence going. And it has allowed him to thrive. And it looks like he's taking his game to the next level. We were hoping that that Warriors performance of 16 points was the breakout performance he needed to get settled into the NBA. And it is looking like that is the case because since then, he's played another five games where he's put up at least 10 points in three out of five of those games. That includes the 20 point and 11 assist night for him as well. And on the back of these great performances, he also has gotten four assists or more in all six of the games, including the Golden State Warriors game. So Malachi Flynn, the stats are starting to show, the shots are starting to fall. You know, kind of took a little bit too many threes in the fourth quarter against the Knicks, uh, probably because they took away one of his threes unnecessarily. I really don't think he stepped out of bounds on that three against the Knicks. Ultimately, uh, could have cost this game as well as some some pretty poor play by Pascal Siakam, as we all know. But Malachi Flynn, other than that, I mean, great performance again. And you can see the defense is there. We're talking a lot about his offense. But the defense, we don't really, we really don't need to talk about because we know he has this. He's had it all season. The ability to get steals, the ability to close down a player on the other team, even a guy who's a little bit above his size. It's basically a mini Fred Van Vliet here in Malachi Flynn. He is literally the same type of player as Fred Van Vliet, an undersized guard who plays some great defense. He can knock down his threes on occasion. You know, he's not knocking them down as much as Fred Van Vliet, but Fred Van Vliet is a seasoned player for the Raptors at this point. I think Malachi Flynn can get to that sort of player. These are very comparable players. I said before the draft that Malachi Flynn and Fred Van Vliet were very similar. I called them the player comparable. And after we drafted him, made a video talking about how this is literally the next Fred Van Vliet. So Malachi Flynn is the baby Fred Van Vliet for this Toronto Raptors team. And who better to learn from? Who better to learn from for Flynn coming in as a rookie point guard, adapting to the NBA, maybe taking a little bit more time to adapt than some other players, some other rookies coming out of his draft class. But who better to learn from? Learn how to you know, play the game, how to run an offense, how to play defense for a team in the NBA. Who better to learn from than Kyle Lowry and Fred Van Vliet? These guys are NBA champions, guys who got it done in game six of the NBA Finals, the biggest stage of their career, and they showed up and delivered with 26 and 22 points respectively. So these are guys who know how to win, they know how to play the game, and they are going to give a ton, a ton of knowledge to Malachi Flynn, whether it be beyond this season or just for the course of this season and what we have left of this season. Malachi Flynn is going to be getting a lot of minutes Kyle Lowry is resting tonight. I don't understand why he's resting, or maybe I do understand why he's resting, but he just came back from injury, so it's a little bit unnecessary for Kyle Lowry to be resting tonight, so make of that what you will, but that means we're going to see a lot of Malachi Flynn again tonight, and I'm excited to see him again because I think, especially in the game against the Wizards, absolutely changed the game with his presence on the court. I think, despite Gary Trent being the hero with that three ball at the end of the game, the buzzer beater, I think Malachi Flynn was the best player on the court for the Raptors and I don't think the Raptors win that game without Malachi Flynn's great play to really orchestrate that 19 point comeback down by 19 in the third quarter end up winning on that buzzer beer Malachi Flynn absolutely deserves the plaudits for this recent performances. I think he'll be able to maintain this for the rest of the season. I just think that he's settled in now. He's had that breakout type of week to get him really settled in and develop that confidence as a shooter. And the more he's knocking down his shots, the more he's knocking down his threes, 
They're going to have to D him up a little bit more on the outside, which is going to give him more space to come off a pick in the pick and roll. It gives him more space for the blow by. And I love the fact that he's not hesitating to pull those threes anymore. And I love the fact that he's getting to the rim with bigger defenders in the paint and still being able to finish. There are a lot of good signs for this Raptors rookie. There are a lot of good signs for the future if he is a part of that future. Again, we had that great starting core in place, but I feel very comfortable with Malachi Flynn coming off the bench. We like DeLon right in his time with the Raptors, and I think we have a better version of that type of player, that type of point guard to come off the bench with Malachi Flynn on the team. Again, player comparable for me is Jason Kidd, just because you know the field goal percentages aren't there, you understand that the player has the smarts to enable winning basketball for your team. Again, not saying he's going to get to that level, but that defensive type of pure point guard who can be a playmaker and still on occasion knock down his shots and still on occasion get to the rim. That's the type of player we have in Malachi Flynn. The more the ball goes through the basket for Flynn, the more confident he's going to get, the more he's going to settle into this team. I think the Ravs did a great job getting him at 29th overall. I said in my last video, talked about his ceiling. I said that his ceiling was that pure point guard who can run an offense, not be like the main source of scoring, but you can rely on him to make everybody else on the court better and he's already doing that in his rookie season the future is bright the raptors are in very good hands with this player on their team let me know all your guys' thoughts and opinions on Malachi Flynn as a Raptor. What do you think is future and do you agree with what I said? Do you disagree? I want to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. But that wraps up for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, please like the video if you like to help us reach some new viewers. It really helps with the engagement. And subscribe to MHR Sports for more content just like this. Also, follow us on Twitch. We live stream every single Raptors game and more. Twitch.tv slash Amateur Hour Sports. I want to thank you guys for helping the channel get to 2.5k subscribers we are well on the road to 3,000 subscribers very happy for this great organic community that we have built up it is a very very nice community to be a part of so thank you so much for that guys more videos coming on in the future more streams coming on in the future so make sure you are part of it all at the end of the day i believe what i say if you disagree that is okay we'll see you again next time for another video